Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Reading Corner. Are you here for a story? Fantastic. That's why I'm here too. Now before we start today's story, we're just going to say hello to some people. Who will we say hello to first, I wonder? Let's see. Our first big hello today is for Leo. He's watching with his lovely mummy Louise. Hi Leo. And who else are we going to say hello to? Is it you? Let's find out. We're also going to say hello to the Titans Juniors who are watching in Ballymena. Hello to all of you. I hope you enjoy your story today. But I think we'll just do one more and then we'll begin. Let's see. I want to get one from the bottom. Our final hello today is to oh, all of the students at Up Idiomas in Girona, Spain. Hola. Ole. Now are we all ready for a story? Then let's begin. Today's story is The Magic Handbag by Stephanie Moss. Princess Annabel flopped down on the royal throne and gave a great big sigh. Oh, I'm bored, she said to her fluffy kitten, Sparkle. I'm tired of pretending to rule my toy kingdom. What we need is a real adventure. So Annabel decided to explore the palace in search of some fun. Soon, Annabel found herself at the top of a tall tower of the palace, in an old room she'd never been in before. Look, Sparkle, she said, a huge dressing up chest. Coming from inside was a magical glowing light. It's coming from this purse, said Annabel peering closer. I wonder what's inside it. She secretly hoped that this was the adventure she had been looking for. Very carefully, Annabel opened up the sparkly purse. As she looked inside, the light began to glow. Brighter and brighter. <gasps> Rummaging around, Annabel pulled out a pair of fancy sunglasses. Annabel put them on and turned to look in the mirror, but there was no reflection. I'm invisible, she whispered. We're finally having an adventure after all. So Annabel tiptoed unseen past the maid in the palace hallway. She munched on one of the chef's best cupcakes in the kitchen. The queen couldn't believe her eyes when the piano started playing itself. And the royal gardener checked his specs when he saw a bouquet floating past. Annabelle ran off into the gardens, giggling. That was so much fun, she said, taking off the sunglasses. She looked down at her dirty clothes. And look how messy I am. When she looked in the purse again, she found a pretty hairbrush. Perfect, she said. But as she combed her golden locks, her hair began to grow. As it grew longer and longer, her dress transformed into a beautiful ball gown.
Before they knew it, Annabelle and Sparkle found themselves at a grand royal ball. Everyone looks so elegant, said Annabelle, looking around the beautiful ballroom. Annabelle loved watching the princes and princesses whirl around the dance floor. Sparkle even joined in the fun. Suddenly, the clock began to chime. Bong! Bong! In the blink of an eye, Annabelle was back in the palace gardens. Let's see what else is inside the purse, she said. Annabelle tipped everything out of the bag. A ring, she cried, slipping it onto her finger. As the ring glowed, Annabelle began to float above the ground. I can fly, she cried. Zoom! She flew up into the air and whizzed to the top of the palace. She whooshed around the turrets, doing loop-the-loops. Whee! she cried. Then she landed at the palace stables. Hello, Blossom, said Annabelle to her pretty pony. I wonder if there's anything in my purse for you to eat. She pulled out a little bag full of magical dust. Annabelle sprinkled the sparkly dust all over Blossom. Nay, went Blossom as she began to shine and glow. Before Annabelle's eyes, Blossom turned into a beautiful unicorn. Annabelle jumped on her back as Blossom shook her mane and spread her wings. Then she flew up into the sky, soaring over the kingdom, as Annabelle looked down below her in wonder. That was the best adventure ever, said Annabelle, as they landed back at the palace. Surely there can't be any more surprises. She looked in the purse once more, and there at the bottom was a glittering, sparkly card. The magical wish doll, read Annabelle. I can wish for anything I want she cried. Annabelle closed her eyes and thought really hard. I've had a great time with my magical purse, she said, but what I'd really like now is a party. Annabelle made her wish and suddenly she was in the grand banquet hall. There was a wonderful feast in front of her and everyone in the palace was having a fabulous time. It's been great fun having an adventure with my magical purse, said Annabelle. She munched on the yummy food and watched everyone enjoying the party. It's even more fun sharing it with all my friends. The end. And you know, I've actually enjoyed this story a lot more for sharing it with my friends. <laughs> That's you. What would you wish for? <laughs>